Thursday morning to you. KQ2 meteorologist Vanessa Alonso here. Happy Valentine's Day 2019. It is going to be a pretty nice day overall, but we do have changes heading into the rest of the work week and into the weekend. This morning, we are waking up to a few clouds right now, but road conditions are looking pretty good this morning on our KQ2 tower camera overlooking the beautiful city lights of St. Joseph. And this morning for February 14th, for these temperatures, we'll take it. We're sitting at 40 degrees right now in St. Joseph, 34 in Hiawatha, into Atchison, 34 in Mount City and Rockport, 35 right now in Falls City, 37 in both Maysville and in Cameron. So parents, as you're getting your kids ready for that bus stop or maybe you're dropping them off at school this morning, they may not need that heavy coat and jacket as they're heading out to work and school, but they may need it heading into the afternoon. We're going to start seeing temperatures fall heading into the afternoon. A cold front will be passing through after lunchtime. That is going to allow temperatures to drop from 45 degrees at noon to 34 by 4 p.m., 21 by the evening hours. So if you have plans with your sweetheart this evening, you will need a good coat if you're heading out maybe to dinner or maybe having a nice day out in the lake or something. Now heading into the rest of the work week and into the weekend, get ready for temperatures to plummet as we go from 45 degrees today for our high, which is near average of our average high of 42. And we're going to plummet down really to the teens, to the 20s. And I hate to say this, I have been warning you about this all week. We are going to get another round of winter weather, unfortunately, heading into Friday, into the weekend, and into early next week. Again, we have been dealing with a few clouds this morning on our KQ2 high resolution max satellite and radar, just a little bit of some Virgo that has not been reaching the ground. So don't worry, that, not, that is not rain on our KQ2 high resolution max satellite and radar. But we are tracking a dry cold front to pass through later on today. That is going to be responsible for A, a shrink in that colder air. And unfortunately, it's going to play a big role with this storm system that's right now setting up over the West Coast. This is going to be the storm system that will give us those widespread chances of snow heading into our Friday. So let me go ahead and give you a close look of what's going to happen right here back at home in your all-important KQ2 hour-by-hour forecast. Again, I'm expecting most of today to be dry. Yes, we're going to see clouds, but at least we're going to be warming up to near 45 degrees by 11 a.m. Then that cold front's going to push through later on this afternoon. It's going to allow those northwest winds to kick in and allow temperatures to drop to 32 degrees by 5 o'clock. Heading into tonight, we are going to start seeing those temperatures drop down to the 20s and into the teens with an increase in cloud cover by 6 a.m. By 8 a.m., we're going to start seeing snow increase from west to east. And then it's going to continue throughout the morning into the afternoon. Everything should start moving out after 2, 3 o'clock tomorrow evening. And we'll see cloudy skies by 7 p.m. on Friday. But how much snow are we going to be seeing right now? It's looking like we could see anywhere from 1 to upwards to 4 inches of snow. It does include the St. Joseph area. This is something we're going to be watching very closely. Keep it tuned to KQ2. Mike Colton and I will keep you updated. So enjoy the nice weather while we have it today, Dan, on this Valentine's Day because temperatures are just going to drop like a rock heading into Friday with the teens, the 20s, and snow returning to the forecast. Back to you, Dane. Thanks, Vanessa.